Every time you put a sample in that instrument, it just blows your mind. People that come in and use the facility are almost invariably blown away as soon as you turn it on. It's one of those things you almost have to see to believe. Filter is a state-of-the-art facility for trace element research. The lab is equipped with three plasma spectrometers, a laser sample introduction system, two scanning electron microscopes, one of which is one of only 15 in the world. The process of analyzing minerals begins in this room here. We use an EDX detector on this scanning electron microscope to determine major element concentrations in mineral grains. Then we take that data and work in the other part of the filter lab where the inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer is to get trace element data on minerals that we've analyzed in the SEM lab. The facility is open to anyone that's interested in trace element research. Some examples of research being conducted in the lab include trace element mapping of single crystals to study the conditions under which mountains are formed, also looking for elemental fingerprints in minerals that are indicative of precious resources such as diamond deposits, and looking at nanoparticles that are released from commercial products into the environment. The scanning electron microscope can be used, you know, for, for biological or medical research. It can be used for engineering, like metallurgy, and it can be used for geological applications. And we have two of them in our laboratory. What happens, though, is if you have really good equipment, then it inspires good professors to come, and also good students to come to do their thesis, because they're doing their work on the very best equipment, so they're getting the best results.